What is up, everybody? It is the Kate bringing you another episode of our Amnesia Let's Play. Uh, when we last left off, we had ventured into this creepy laboratory in this creepy ass castle. So, uh, I'm actually playing the game again, um, even though this is still outside of my comfort zone. Uh, but let's get exploring because this season is not going to end by me just quitting. I'm going to finish this game. I'm determined, guys. So let's see here. We've got creepy giant spiderweb boulder blocked passageway. Not gonna do much over there. Some oil. Fine. I won't go that way. Jesus. You know what? I'll, I'll get right up on here. What? Do something. Yeah, just blowing hot air. That's what I thought. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. Anything over here? There's nothing left. Everything is gone. Everything is gone. I wonder what he's talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. I'm having a little congestion lately. That's kind of creepy. Somebody's walking around upstairs. Oh, can't open that. Ooh, chest. What's in here? Ah, more tinder. We like that. A letter. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained with the fumes and I will and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. So obviously we need to go to the wine cellar and pick up some pick up some stuff. Oh. Sounds like a baby crying. The hell? Huh. Somebody threw their pet crocodile down there. It's not too happy. There should be more coop Let me see. Let me see. And one part aqua force. It's really bright. Ooh, chemistry pot. Ooh, we can open drawers, guys. How cool is that? Ooh, we can open different ones? Ah, oh, that's cool. I like that. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the cuprate binds them well. This time I will adapt... Oh, uh, this time I will attempt Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid. Shouldn't it be acidic? Highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Really? Dude, I'm losing my mind, I think. Oh no, I just have a slight headache. I don't know why I'm freaking out all over here. Ooh, glowy thing. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Interesting. Very interesting. 
I wish we could like pick up the the torches and carry them around. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, that sounds like a mushy pile of something. All right, let's run. Run, run, run. Run is good for the body and mind. Maybe. I don't know. I just made that up. Hmm. That's a wine cellar. Can we go into the wine cellar? I need a key. Hmm. Anything in our journal? Notes. <clears throat> that's the note. Yep, yeah, that's when we had lost our mind. Hmm. That might come in handy soon. I, I don't know. Alright. Let's go. Let's go back up this way. Bunch of creepy wind. Alright, let's down this way. Ooh, a chest. Some oil and another tender box. More cockroaches. Hissing cockroaches. Behave. And a door. Oh. That's not good. That's not good, guys. I don't, I don't like that. I don't think they want us to leave. Alright, well I guess the only place that's left to go is down here. Yeah. Take it. Let's see. Let's go to, where is this? The refinery. Who? What? In the world. It can't be torn by hands or tools. Hmm, it looks fleshy. I bet we have to go make... I think we have to go mix, um... Yeah, I think we have to go mix stuff in the laboratory. Let's go do that. Alright. Let's go. Let's go be chemist, guys. Alright. So, probably shouldn't have thrown all that stuff around. Um, journal, notes. Okay. No, oh, chemical, no. Alright, the former compounds. All right, so calamine, orpiment, and cuprite, and aquafortic. Okay. Um, well, let's see if we can figure out a pot to contain mixtures of all sorts. Okay. Well, um, none of that has labels. Uh, that says delirium. Chemicals are needed to continue. Why, yes, I agree. Let's light us some candles. Alright, so. <laughs> Just stop walking around up there. That's getting on my nerves. Alright, so. I can't really see the labels on this stuff. this over here. Oops. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, alright, so we've got some of this stuff. There's a lot of screaming going on. 
and a lot of walk around upstairs. I'm trying to, I'm trying to science here. I don't know what this is. I feel like I have to find like a key, maybe. That looks, that looks, um, it looks kind of science, sciency. Does that look sciency enough? I guess I need to find a key so I can go unlock the wine cellar maybe? maybe that's where all of this stuff is all right I'll just hold all that here hmm. that is creepy out of my way You. I don't need you. Eh. Worthless. So that key's got to be hidden here somewhere. Hmm. Wonder where it could be. Yes, yes, yes. All the walking. I understand. somewhere. Nope, not over there. I used to work for two men in a truck. Yeah. Nothing in there. Alright, we need to figure out where this key is. It's one thing I can think of. Where are you? It's like rocks and stuff. Yeah, hissing cockroaches. Shut up. Squish those little hissing cockroaches. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? I wonder where this key could be. There's blood under here. That's not a good sign. There's no key. Let's go to the archives. That sounds creepy. Oh, there's something fly running around here somewhere. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure 
hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. British Museum, huh? Just don't mind me, just being nosy. Just looking through all your drawers. Oops. Hell of a noise. Alrighty, so I don't see anything of interest in here. Alright, let's go across the way and see. Hello? And I start to get scared because reasons. Oop. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years. My freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to be is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrett. Interesting. Sounds like he had some people working for him. Uh, don't need you. Books. Ah, tinderbox. We will need that to light our way. Drawers. There's something buzzing around my ears. Can, can you guys tell them to leave me alone? I don't like fly things. Like that. Come over this way. Ah, it's a pen and ink. Oh, look, the ink actually spilled. The pen broke. That's cool. I like that. What's in here? What the hell is that noise? Yeah. Gives me the jibbies, guys. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Shirts get changed. Probably don't smell that great. Books. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it. And as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was good trapped. Good move, guy. Oh, obviously. Haven't you watched any good, you know, freaking... Uh, I totally forgot where I was going with that. Oh, Indiana Jones movies, man. Obviously, you need to watch many Indiana Jones movies because he knows all about that stuff. All about that stuff. Wow, well, wait, I haven't finished exploring over here yet. Alright, let's go this way. To the side. Ooh, it's got a grand hall. Well, that's pretty cool. Wow, that's a pretty nice painting. I like that. Oh, I wanted to play the piano. 
can't play the piano. Oh. Hmm. So that's a grunting and, and sounded like it coming from this room. Let's go find out. It's not a cave. Oh, that's blood dripping, guys. That's not good. What in the world? Alrighty, I'm gonna go this way. Let's go explore the rest of the stuff before we move on to the blood dripping room. I think that's actually where we came out of. Ugh. Getting them chills again. Alright, so let's go in here. Let's go light me a light. What's in here? Oh, creepy storage room. Awesome. Hey. That was a good book. You can't just be throwing that on the ground. See, now somebody else gets to play the piano? That's crap. I wanted to play the piano. Ugh. And these ghosts are, are selfish. They don't want me to do anything. Anything over here of interest? I can't open those. Alright. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Where's the next room? Bottom drawer, middle drawer, top drawer. Man, there's nothing in here, ever. I want stuff. Oh, I can light the shan- Ah, uh, yeah, I can light the lantern up there this time. Ah, all right, can't get into that one. I'll light that lantern too, why not? All right, fine, you can keep the piano. I didn't want to play it anyway. All right, guys, time for the creepy, uh, Actually, you know what? Yeah, I guess I guess we should go into the creepy room. Hmm. All right, let's let's go into the creepy blood dripping room. Cockroaches. Some more oil. Caved in stuff. Don't like that. Bottom drawer. There's a map. I can't do anything with a map, but it's a map. I will throw the map. There are more maps that I can't do anything with. And another map that I can't do anything with. Alright. Well. The fuck? Oh, great. Alright, we're trapped in now. I guess we don't really need to worry about that key. Ugh. Why can't I light... I want to light those. Why can't I light those? Ah. Oh, come on. Pansy, it's not even dark in here. Oh. What just happened? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Go to the light at the end of the tunnel. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible. 
impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. That was weird. Okay, well, on that note, guys, I think, I think pausing in the library portion here uh, would be a good place to stop for now. Um, we'll pick up in episode three and continue exploring this creepy-ass castle. Uh, until next time, take it easy.